Hello, my name is Jason McDonald. I'm director at the JM Internet Group. In this video, we're going to explore what's called the display network on Google AdWords versus the Google network. You may not realize, but there are two different networks that you can run on in AdWords, Google or display, and they can cause you a lot of trouble. So let's get started. So Google is not one network, but two network. That's what most people don't understand, that it's actually two different networks when you run ads on Google. So here's our agenda. First, we're going to understand the two different networks that are available to AdWords advertisers on Google. We're going to talk a little bit about how absolutely different search is from browsing. We're going to talk about pre-identifying the possibilities of where you might run if you choose to run on the display network. And then we're going to conclude by looking at where you go to see where you've actually been placed on the display network. Okay, so first of all, most people don't realize this or many people do not realize it, but when you advertise on Google, the default setting is to run you on both what's called the search network, which is Google, AOL, Comcast, and some of the very large providers uh, of information on the internet, or the display network, which is blogs, portals, Gmail, park domains, error pages, and a whole bunch of other stuff that most people don't understand. So let's first just get our bearings and understand the two different networks. So I have the links here for you. If you go to our website or you enter jm-seo.org slash 23 or click on the description in the YouTube video below, that'll get you to all the instructor links uh, for this session. So let's understand the two different networks. So first of all, everybody understands that you go to Google and you do a search for cat boarding. This is my example. I use cat pet boarding cat boarding and you see ads on Google. This is what most people think of when they say I'm advertising on Google. They don't realize that you can also mean that you're advertising on AOL. Notice when you do a search on AOL for cat boarding, you'll see here enhanced by Google. This is also true on many of these large ISPs like Comcast, advanced by Google. All of these run in a very tight way based on the search entered and the AdWords match type that you put into AdWords. So I call the keyword matching tight on the search network. What does the searcher input? Cat boarding, pet boarding, dog boarding. What have you indicated with the correct match types that I teach in my classes on AdWords? Exact match, phrase match, etc. Tight matching. What most people don't realize is there is a second network on AdWords. So for instance, your ads can run on sites like chickensmoothie.com. This down here at the bottom, this is actually a Google ad running on a website called chickensmoothie.com. Here's our problem if we're a cat border in San Francisco. We're a place where you can take your cat when you go on vacation. This is on virtual pets. This is part of the display network. Let me show you another example. Here's muttcats.com, which is Colorado Pet Shelters. I'm sure they're a wonderful organization, but you can see over here they're running ads on Google as well. These are Google ads through the Google display network. Also, some of your very large websites, newyorktimes.com, you'll see at the very bottom of the New York Times, these are ads run by Google. Now let's think about this in terms of keyword matching. I go to the New York Times. I'm not entering any keywords, am I? I'm just browsing the New York Times. So how would Google know how to match the appropriate ads with what is going on in the search experience? There's no keyword matching between New York Times and this ad. It's not matched on what I typed in because I didn't type anything in. It's matched on a couple features. First of all, Google looks at the page content on the page and matches that with the keywords that you put into AdWords. Or it can look at the user behavior and say, what was the person looking at before they got here? 
or it can do some other sort of matching, like you can tell it which sites you want to appear on. All a lot of complexity that I explain in my classes. Now here's the deal. The matching on the match types is loosey-goosey. It's not very tight. It's a very different sort of relationship. So first understand the two different networks, search versus display. Heads up that the default setting on AdWords is to run you on both, whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not. Now let's talk about matching and keywords. The keyword logic is very different on the two networks. On Google, the searcher is searching for something. They're typing in cat boarding, and Google is matching what they type in with what you put into your keyword matching on AdWords tight matching. On the display network, it's generally browsing. I'm reading the New York Times. I'm reading a blog on pets. Google is making, making an educated guess based on what I'm browsing, what I might be interested in. So it's a very different logic. This is about browsing or reading. This is about searching. So it's really not a good idea to combine these two into one campaign. Now, let's talk about Okay, now we understand this. Let's just talk roughly about where you can think about where Google might be placing your ads. Okay, let's go over and let's look inside AdWords and understand where we can get a sense of placements. Go into your campaigns, go into your AdWords account, click on Tools and Analysis, click Placement Tool, type in the keywords that you think you're advertising on. So in this case, I'll put in cat boarding. I'm going to hit search, and you're going to immediately see a lot of game websites, a lot of really strange stuff, Hungry Cat Mahjong, board game, cat sounds, right? So you really want to advertise there if you're into cat boarding? I don't think so. There's a lot of problems you can see right from the beginning. Let's turn off mobile apps over here on the left and just hit search again just to get rid of that. That's enough of a problem. Now let's click over here, Impressions by Day, and let's see some of the larger websites where we might be showing. Chicken Smoothie runs over 500,000 impressions per day. Click on the ad or the um, placement that you're sort of interested in. You can open it up and check it out. This is where you might be placed if you use the words cat boarding. Is this logical? I don't think so. Where else might be we going? PhoneDog.com. What is this? PhoneDog.com. This is something that has to do with mobile phones and dogs. Again, not a good placement. So there's a lot of junk in the display network. The match type is very loose. It's loosey-goosey. You can get into a lot of trouble. So go here to placements, put in your keywords, and get a sense. Put in any keywords you want. Put in organic food. Get a sense of where it might place your ads based on the simplest way of managing this, the keywords. Some you'll like, some you're not. Organic gardening, okay, I can live with that. Stando Burger Free Food in, in the Android, I don't think so. That's not Kung Fu Panda HD. I don't want to be here. So you got to watch out for those. That's the first area to go to, placements. Now let's talk about where you go to turn off and on placements. And let's understand some placements that you might not like. Let's look at parked domains. These are ads upon ads upon ads running through the Google network. Here's bahanul.com, which is ads upon ads upon ads, sort of based loosely on lingerie. That's in the Google AdWords network. Here's parkinglot.com. These are ads upon ads upon ads based on parking. Not exactly the best thing. We've looked at Chicken Smoothie. Rising Hollywood is also related, uh, according to Google, to dog or cat boarding. So the problem is you get some low-quality match types, and you got to look for that. You can pre-identify using the placements tool. Once you get the hang of it, you get a sense of where your ads might run. Now, if you're already running, where do you find your placements and where do you control your placements? We want to understand that in AdWords. Okay, so let's log into AdWords and let's first of all, let's just understand if we're setting up a brand new campaign, what's the default setting? So I'm going to click over here to campaigns. 
I'm going to click New Campaign, and I'm going to see here this weird little pop-up from Google. Search and Display Networks, best opportunity to reach the most customers. Okay, I want you to mentally take an X and X that out. That is not true. That is a very misleading statement on the part of AdWords. You are much better off, as I teach in my classes, to split your campaigns into search campaigns and display campaigns. Both have their purposes. They're very different. What most people think of as Google is the search network, so I recommend splitting them when you set up a new campaign. There are many reasons to do display, but it needs to be managed separately. So my biggest complaint about the way Google set this up is the default setting is to run both. Nothing could be more um, egregious for an advertiser. Now, once you're running a campaign, where do you go to change your settings or to see what's going on? Let's go back to campaigns here. Let's go into a campaign that actually is running on the display network. And I want to go and I want to show you where you can set some controls. So click on your display network tab. If you're running on the display network, you will have a tab called display network. Okay, then you've got to think like Google. They bury this way at the bottom, so we're going to let that load. And we're going to go to the very bottom of the network. I'm actually going to open up more time here, just so when we get to um, look at statistics, we'll have a lot of information. So let me open that up. Now, go to the very bottom of this page, and we're talking very bottom. Click on Exclusions. Click over here and you'll start to see places where you can exclude. You generally want to exclude at the campaign level. Click Add Exclusions. You can exclude things based on if you know a particular placement you don't like, like chickensmoothie.com. Go over here to Placements. You can exclude placements based on their types or topics or categories. Click on Categories. You can add exclusions here based on categories such as pornography, sexually suggestive content. Here are the two I really don't like, error pages and park domains. And again, these are all hidden at the bottom of this screen here, way at the bottom. This is where you can exclude them. So that's the first thing to understand. Where would you exclude them when you get started? A lot of these nefarious ones, I always exclude right from the get-go. Now, once you're running, Maybe you're running and you didn't understand what you were doing. That's very common. And you want to know, what the heck were I being placed on? Where were my ads actually running? Go to your Display Network tab, click on Placements, click on Automatic Placements and open it up, and you can see where were, was I running. This ad campaign, for instance, was running on Gmail, which is great. That's one of the biggest benefits to the Display Network is Gmail. It was also running on some strange websites I didn't particularly like. I can check a website out, hypestat.com. I can go over here, paste it in another browser. I can check it out, see if I like it. You can see I don't particularly like this website. I think it's kind of like a park domain. It's not a park domain, but it's kind of junky like that. So I can do what? I can exclude it by checking the box and clicking exclude from targeting up here. So you want to know where do you go to look at your display network, both in terms of placements and in terms of where you're actually running. All the things we teach in more detail in the class. So what have we learned in this quick video? We've learned there's two networks to AdWords. There's the Google network and the display network. We've learned that the match types on the two networks are quite different, very tight on the Google network, loosey-goosey on the display network. We've learned about park domains and placements. We've learned where to go to look to preview in terms of the placements tool. And if you're running, we've learned where to go and find out where you were running. Oops, if it's not so good, where do you go to exclude your placements? So all of the links are here at the bottom of the YouTube. You can click on the link there. You can go and input jm-seo.org slash 23. That'll get you to all the links in the classes. And I hope you've enjoyed this quick little expose on the display network uh, inside of Google AdWords.